Hello, I'm Mike Gordon, and welcome back to my perfect playthrough of Tecmo Super Bowl for the Sega Genesis. And today, we are going to actually do uh, player versus player this time between the Denver Bronco my Denver Broncos, versus the undefeated Dallas Cowboys. The Broncos have to win this game in order to remain in the playoff race, particularly for the division title. A loss there will effectively eliminate them from playoff contention, especially if the Chargers win. While the Bronc, while the Cowboys have her have perfection in their sights, now that they've clinched the division title, let's do this. Oh, I just realized I'm t player two. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to throw it to Shannon Sharp, who's a tight end. Oh, a fiend caliber tight end. And just like that, the Broncos make it to the score. Broncos lead 7-0, and the game has just started. And with that, it's now the Cowboys' t turn to try and make a response. They absolutely need to make this response, though. Alright, uh, let's go here. Alright, uh, I'm gonna try to... I'm going to try to shut this down. And now, ooh, Alan Harper has caught in a deep pass for a ton of yardage. Uh, let's see. What will the Bron what should I do for the Broncos? I'm gonna try to s trick him. And it was a complete pass to Emmett Smith. Alright, alright. Ah, shit. Stepped out of bounds. And we're go- And it's a touchdown to Harper! Alvin Harper ties it up. It's now 7 all. But the Cowboys need to be able, need to clamp down on the Broncos if they are to remain alive and undefeated. The first things first is they absolutely need to. Oops. I need to contain their deep passes. And I absolutely need to stop the deep pass. Fuck. 
All right, the Broncos just took the first sack of the game. And I had to pop that, and I had to throw that away because it was a blitz. Yeah, I, I predicted a blitz that I fully orchestrated. All right, uh, I'm gonna try to. So, another complete pass to P Alvin Walker. And let's try something new here. Yep. Here's another complete pass to Walker. Wow. And now it looks. Ooh. Only a yard. Jesus fucking Christ, I can't get anything going on the ground. All right, so I dropped the the player one controller, which is the Broncos. Oh, I thought it was gonna blitz that one. Obviously, Emmett Smith is gonna try to write it, so I'm gonna try to stop it, but I couldn't. It's a touchdown, Cowboys. They take the first lead of the game. To remain on top and undefeated. And it's another deep pass to Denver. Alright, uh... Man, I try to try to sneak past Charles Haley, man. Man, that Cowboys defense sure is tough. And there's a a complete pass to Johnson, and it's a first down. And it looks like John always gonna take it himself. Ooh. That's a first down across midfield. And I'm just gonna and the Cowboys are just gonna try to focus on shutting down the pass. And it's ah shit. Rivers dropped a what would have been a completed pass. Alright, uh... And it looks like Elway's just gonna keep on running it in himself, and it's another first down.
What the hell? Russell was wide open. He couldn't catch that? Well, I got good news because now I know what p movies the cow the Broncos are gonna make. There's your rivers cannot get. Break through, it's fourth and four. Oh my god. They're gonna fall behind here. They have to sell for a field goal. And they barely made it in. T Fourteen to ten Dallas Cowboys. Uh oh, it looks like the Cowboys weren't expecting a catch. I wasn't expecting to catch that. An onside kick already, wow. The Cowboys can surely put this away. And <laughs> Holy cow. And he couldn't do anything here. And the Cowboys couldn't get anything going here, so it looks like they might as well just sell for a field goal. First field goal attempt in quite a well, uh, since last week, and it's our first field goal, I believe, since I started playing the Cowboys. Because they were the last unbeaten team left in the NFL. So, the Cowboys lead 17-10. to With, while the Cowboys have 115 yards passing, the Broncos themselves did a pretty bang-up job containing their run game. Neither team could get off... On the run, though the cow, though the Broncos currently the, the have a slightly over the Cowboys thanks to a pair of John Elway rush attempts, but a uh, fairly respectable say five yards passing. And uh, again, they attempted on side kick, and it was no good. And the Cowboys are just going to try to run out the clock. And they can, and Emma Seth has been kept contained all this time. I think they're going to try to bluff it. And, uh... <laughs> Cowboys took a sack for a three and out. So now the Cowboys absolutely need to punt this ball away. And they have to... Oh, Cowboys have them pinned pretty good here. It seems like the Cowboys, just, uh, the Broncos decided to hand the ball off to Ber Bernstein. But could I get it done?
Ooh, that was uh, that would have been a pretty good one for the Broncos to get. Now it looks like they may have to throw deep. But which play, which of the Broncos' many pass plays will they choose? Ooh, a deep pass to Johnson. Interception! Wow, that was a heartbreaker, man. It doesn't matter if I'm bl game blitz or not. The cow. It seems like the Cowboys can just score on the win. Man, that is obnoxious. Ooh, and he and the Cowboys could get the ball off this time. It's a sack. And it's oh, it's a three third and sixteen, huh? But they could not get it back to the line of scrimmage, so now they have to pump the ball away. Johnson scooped it up for his first score of the season. And they made it through the outbreaks just barely. 24 to 10. Looks like the Broncos are looking to change up their playbook. But right now the Bron the all the Cowboys need to worry about is the deep pass. And Johnson's been the biggest star of the game by a country mile. And the Cow and the Broncos aren't giving up the run. They are actually, even though it's one of their weaker components, they're committed to it. Oh, wow. That was a bad pl that was a bad throw. truth now the Broncos need to score the on this drive to stay alive and 
and he couldn't do it. Man, the Cowboys were just too strong. I tried my best to keep this bat this game interesting, but I just couldn't do it. Now I just need a Cowboys absolutely need to pump this ball away, but they're up two scores. So uh, par so aside from a miracle. Oh man, I forgot to pump. Now the reason why the Broncos aren't burning their timeouts is because they have to score. And they finally made it to the end zone. Thanks in part to quarterback John Elway sneak it, sneaking it in himself to make this a now complete the CT and it will be. A one-score game. Now the question remains: Will the ca will the Broncos recover this onside kick? Oh yes, they did. They <laughs> it's a miracle. They have to they have to hurry it up. They have to f take the first time out. Deep ball to Shan Sharp. Ooh. They have to do this. Ah, oh man, the Broncos are so close. But the Cowboys pull ahead 24-17 to remain undefeated. This basically ends the Cowboy the Broncos playoff hopes. Holy Toledo. That it, that interception in that Fumbled punt return. Sure did the Broncos in, didn't it? So before I uh, continue any further, it's time to put the Broncos on skip. Got to skip ahead to week... Whoop, to week 16. Lions crush the cow the Packers. Colts take care of business in Miami. Lots and lots of upsets. But the Vikings do take care of business in the NFC Central. They are the second team to clinch a playoff berth. The Bills take care of business against the Jets. Chargers beat the Eagles. Cardinals. 
though they are still lot though they have not yet clinched a division title. But here the boat. The Bills mathematically eliminate the Broncos from playoff contention and are now AFC East Division title winners. They are the third team to clinch a playoff berth. The Cardinals beat the Giants. Bucks beat the Falcons. Chargers crush the Brown. Oh, I forgot who they played. But we now have to play host to the def to the in real life defending Super Bowl champion Washington Redskins on who are who in ninety two were literally on their last fumes as a dynasty. The Hogs were getting old. Uh quarterback Mark Rippon fell off hard and it turns out this would be Joe Gibbs last season with his original stint as a Redskins coach. He would retire shortly after this. The Dolphins, Jets, and Colts are all tied at 7-6. They're very much alive in playoff contention. But the Steelers currently lead the first wild card spot at 8-5. However, a win in a Steeler loss will clinch the division for the Oilers. The Bengals are also technically mathematically still alive at 6-8. Though the odds of them getting there will be pretty low. As the Raiders are six and seven still alive, as are the five, technically the, the five and eight Seattle Seahawks, but the Chargers pretty much need a win. That's just it. All the Chargers need is one more win or a Raiders loss to clinch the AFC West. The Niners, however, are nine and four and are sputtering. They have yet to clinch their division. It doesn't seem like they're anywhere close to getting there. 8 and 5 Saints are very much in the thick of things as far as what playoff contention is concerned. However, the Vikings have the division rat all wrapped up. All the only team that has any remote shot of the playoff berth right out of that division right now is the Green Bay Packers. And the AFC, the NFC East, well, obviously we are still undefeated at 13 and 0, but the Cardinals are eight and six are looking to remain in contention for a playoff spot. Eagles and Giants, uh, Eagles, Giants, and Redskins, however, are all still hanging in there. So, the question then remains: Will who will be the next team to clinch a playoff spot? Well, find out next next week when we take on. The Washington Redskins at week 15 of the NFL season. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. With all out of the way, this is Mike Gorn signing out.